Welcome back. Geekside's draft just feels a lot better. The lanes look really nice, like Skem and Zhao. Ice is not going to be able to play with his wolves all too much in that lane. <laughs> That's true, right? I feel like in this scenario, it doesn't change too much for Jackie. It's just a question of who gets there first. Arming. He trains to isolate somebody. He does manage to catch DJ inside of the shards, so bleed. Already off to a bad start. The first blood can be okay. Maybe not freely given away. There it is. Finally, Forrest will be able to get the first blood. That's what Geek Slate wanted. So uh back to the the Doom versus SF thing. I, I think one thing about it. Oh, mid lane Corden. Nice rotation over from Narman. Cox makes the call, or somebody made the call, and Narman rotates in. <laughs> Gordon okay. gets, he goes for a spiteful water rune deny, but uh, off of that kill, should be getting level six first. So the coil is available. They're pushing it in, just gonna go. They're gonna go for it now. The Darman coming in from behind. He's got the tag team to be able to help out here in the snowball to help finish him off. Gordon will fall, but at the same time, Narman's gonna fall and the puck got very low to all of that. Position off here, you get the six minute rune as a result. Ends up being useless, but can't have everything in life. Now the Undying is CP mid, so it leaves Jackie a little bit alone. He's gonna go okay. Ooh, Looks like he's Geek. doing okay alone. <laughs> <laughs> and Geekslate might not like that type of fight when they get to him. Oh, and well, ooh, nice Centaur stun on two here. The Coil's gonna be able to land on two. Now, of course, John Wells still dead. But Centaur doing work. Kill the storm, the silence at the last second, the orb, the snowball comes in. It actually hits DJ as well. So they're gonna be able to clean up both of those kills. And Dubu is unable to do anything to stop it. But that does leave Geek Slate one step ahead. They're gonna start sitting on mid lane here. If they find great opening, into Jackie, they're gonna be able to get the Doom on. Oh no, the Telkinese goes up first! The Requiem turned down, and as a result, Sven ends up dying. What a great reaction from DJ. While being gone on, gets the telekinesis off, and as a result, Horden comes in. They get the kill on Cox, too. Yeah, they're going to be able to catch the Lycan, potentially. Ice 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 backs off at the right time. And they still get the Enchantress. John, well, I'm not sure, we'll, like... He should have known that his smoke, maybe he just wasn't paying attention to his hero at the time, so he didn't see when his smoke popped, but... Oh, they're going yeah, for Scam. They got the wolf on him. The wolves, again, yeah, no, really just tanky. following Scam around. He is tanky, but he's not going to be able to handle four heroes, I don't oh, think. He gave he doom. The doom onto the Storm Spirit, so that makes it even worse that he stole the Doom. Oh, no. Geeslate all came to fight, but he's still have a minute on this Aegis. I... I feel like you shouldn't all be here. It's just not- well, Cox, that now. TP is too long. I don't know what he TP'd to, but DJ was gonna catch him, and now Cox is gonna have to do some crazy juking to be able to get out of this one. Because Gordon's just gonna keep chasing after him. DJ actually TP's ahead of him here to be able to catch him with a telekinesis. Another warp coming up in a second, but it's not fast enough. Looks like Geek Slate is willing to take the four versus five, though. As long as they get the initiation up on the high ground, they're gonna get the tombstone on the high ground. Dubu's already countered Geek Slate, and they have to get out. Now it's just every man for themselves, and Armin is going to be the one left behind. I tend to agree. The spell is low key obnoxious, which probably means it's good. Doom? Oh, Skem tried to go for it. He did manage to get the Doom off on the ass yeah, and he's just full in mid, but he's getting torn apart here by all this physical damage. Skem trying to get away, limping away on just a sliver of HP. The rest of the team committing now to the SF, and they will be able to finish him off. Force, hey, with his big exorcism, is going to be able to run down some heroes here. Gets the SF. Next is going to be Dubu. Gordon goes in, though. Tries a to finish pull. off the block and does manage to get hey. Look at that damage. He just blew up everybody inside of that little circle. A decay of Bolt and most of Geek Slate falls just like that. Horse, the only strong one to keep going. Okay, they're building Shivas on Skem, which means Force doesn't really know what to do with this plate mail. Yeah, it's, it's just a doom. basic plate mail now, which is really awkward. Later, Fox. You have been doomed. Take it up Good with TV, your yeah. This is the word for Geek Slate, though. If you're going to fight, this is where you do it. Yeah, they're trying to not hit the SF. They wanted to go for some backline. Now they have to go for Jackie with the Aegis and the BKB. Not an easy target. Cox on the side Cox being targeted by The Silent is still in silence once again for DJ. Gets the kill onto the puck. Skem is being run down. Corn's going to help finish him off here. Long jump in. Pops the BKB. Gets the kill on a Skem. Now pulling back force as well. They pop the cliff. Oh. Trying to stop Bleed, but Bleed will not be stopped, it seems, as Jackie just continues his rampage through the Geek Slate base. 
And there are no buybacks for the cores here on Geek Slate except for Force. So this is going to be one lane of Rax, probably two. And Damn. Jackie Daddy came with the belt. You just Seriously. hate him. He slapped you. Slapped you silly. They know they're going to be coming around the mix. Look at them blocking out the path. Geek Slate goes all the way around here. They're going to try and get a high ground war. Perhaps they're going to run into DJ. DJ, oh, they don't quite spot him. Now they do. Narman's going to go for it with a punch and everything else. But Corden, he managed to jump out of the puck once again. Pulls him back in. Oh, and Skim is already it's dead over. before the fight even really begins in earnest. He is just dead. And GG is called from Geek Slate and Weep. What a clean victory. They've got a Pudge versus an Ursa, Avery. I'm fairly certain don't, i'm not an expert but i'm fairly certain that is an ursa favored matchup even though we have seen skim build that build in one position profit i think maybe it was just didn't seem comfortable scaling first the first three they saw well this lane is very dangerous skim going in for it does manage to get the double kill even killing the wolves he doesn't even fall snapfire is a long ways away from being able to get level six so they don't really have a rebuttal to all of this. They do have the coil into the cookie, though, thanks to an Invis rune. And Cox, oh, the snowball save. Is that going to be enough to get him away? Gordon commits, and he gets the silence on him, but he did commit, and he may just die for it. Nice sleep. stomp, though. It actually saves Gordon's life. I think he could go that build, too, and still carry, but it's just a preference of what he thinks is going to hit the hardest here, because I do think his job is to physically carry this game. Locked in. Coil going to be used. Managed to grab him inside the snowball. Of course, the crystal lane has no health, so it's probably going to die. Nice snag there with the hook, though. Even better than just losing a crystal maiden. Get a trade out for ice, ice, ice. Well worth it. But he is spotted by the wolf. Geek Slate is coming in from behind with a smoke of their own. The Tusk and crystal maiden are going to run into Corden. Corden gets off the silence, held in by the frostbite, and will be able to jump away to the orb. Skem, nice pushback there. That is a beauty. Pushes him straight into the open arms of Skem. They do get snapped back by the Elder Titan, and as a result, the Coddle will die. The hook whoop, off the mark. Well, dodge rather by Corden thanks to the phase shift. And... Don't you dare just besmirch Skem Pudge. That was exactly <laughs> on the mark. I mean, you can do it in Pudge's here. They're going to try. They have Ags on Pudge. They're start getting into position here. Cox, the first blast, a little shy. And coil, that's a nice setup. What a hook. Get the grab there from Scam onto the yellow Titan. A really nice way to be able to burst down one. Ice, ice, ice. Blast comes through, unable to save the Tuscan time. Scam is going to be able to limp away. Ooh, almost killing that Elm, the Overlord creep. You can see him. Can you stop it? I guess he say like feel the pressure and they're going to try and make something else happen. Got the glitch. They catch the bug. They do manage to get him. Board in. Not gonna have an orb away. So really good catch for Force there. And then taking the Roshan bounty would be something small. Ursa's not coming over. He's gonna kiss it. Here goes the kiss. See kill. if they get the last hit. They do not. Dyer ends up picking it up. Nice snowball save, dodging a lot of the damage there. Boy, there really is nothing happening in this game <laughs> right now. <laughs> it is about to be as Norman punches Corden in the face. Get oh, gets him with the Gleipnir follow-up, and now they're going to be able to take it here, too. There's not much. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Come here, Snapfire. I mean, there's nothing to farm. Somebody Scam. has to pay the price. The hook off of it. Oh, Norman, get out the way! Move! Attack. Oh, man, that would have been a sick kill. They would have at least forced the BKB out of the Ursa, if not possibly killed him. Oh, nice catch on DJ. See, this is what happens. You stay, the map starts getting yeah. small, and now Bleed, they're, they're trying to run all over the place. But you know what? That's when you turn the franchise around. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Yeah, it's yeah. at its lowest. Top tower. Look at this. That's what board. Bleed's hoping to do. They're baiting here. Yeah, I don't know where to find Bleed's all these like... heroes with the side of ice. Okay. Get the cookie over the shards. And Ice actually wants to turn this around. Look at a fight with the shapeshift a little bit. Oh, Bleed pushed some heroes back. Managed to get the stomp onto the coddle. He's got Glimmer Cape, though. Ice is going to charge after him, but he really cannot commit as much as he would like to. So this is just going to be another shapeshift without a target. Just indecision. Do they want to fight? Do they not want to fight? There's not the vision for Bleed to fight here either. Now DJ's going to get caught on the end of it. Yeah, are they still getting caught? Ice. You got a TP, son. Yeah, why right are now. they still here? Just indecision. I mean, you can oh. GT Spirit. Are you that concerned, though?
And yeah, probably not. Not against uh, Dubu's underfarmed Elder Titan. Jump forward from Skim. Uh oh. Well, they got Jackie stacks. is here to be able to start laying into it. They do manage to get the grab, though. Skim's going to be able to heal himself up a little bit more. There's so many stacks. Jackie still trying to stick on top of him. Yeah, there it is. The cookie is going to be able to finish off Skim. 6x kill streak goes away. Corden playing with the Aeon disc. Nullifier takes that one away, but he still had a phase shift anyway. And they're looking to try and chase down some more heroes. Nightmare is going to be used to keep Jackie at bay. Once the stacks start coming, now you have to fight this Roche without your fudge. Yeah, but they There's really, no they really want this, and this is looking a little awkward. The cookie's going to be able to get him out of the sprout. He's going to use the enrage. He needs to get away. Oh, God, he's so slowed down, though. He's got one more enrage, but he's not going to be enough. The little hop isn't going to be good. And now Geek Slate contesting a second Roshan and discovering a mutual distaste for hero flesh. Dox finds an opening on Ice 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 and forces him to use Shape Shifts. I don't Very, know. Oh, ooh, Gordon, nice blink. Get Jumped to an orb, immediately blinked over. To oh, the we outside. got oh, the Sprout Leash, got him. That is so annoying. Now, he still has a chance here to be able to orb out thanks to the silence, but the Aeon Disc does not give him any extra momentum. Wolf Bear. Okay. Scam Frost in a position golem. to be able to break a smoke, but the smoke is slipping right past him. Dubu is broke. Now they're going to pop it. Shapeshift goes out. Scam blinking away. Trying to get out, but immediately the air's going to be able to nullifier. He pops a BKB. The snowball safe. Okay, that's going to be a little bit of time, but it goes over to Lycan Wolf, so they are still stuck in the middle. Bleed surrounding the two the shots. Quickly kill them, and the, the wolves just let loose. <laughs> <laughs> or those, that's that's monkey sounds. He just saw his life flash before. Wow. Roshan's dead. Geek Slate is not going to be able to get here in time, even if they chose to do so. So they grab everything yeah. here. Now they've got an Aghanim Scepter on the Ursa. Coil Snap. It's the Coddle. We're shocked to be able to get to the other side of the shards, but Cox is so fast. They're going to keep going. Oh, they're going to use the shapeshift. Four staff TP out. Spotted for a second. Not good enough. All right, good hook. Okay. You got his the repositioning out. tools are still crazy good. And they're going to chase after him, see if they can hold him in place. And they do manage to finish off that Aegis. But what a good clap. And look at this ultimate. It's coming in. Force, he needs some help here. He's got BKB. He's got a bear He just needs to be able to swing on people. And he's he's on machine. He starts going in. Does manage to get a bash. They need to be able to stop this Ursa. They pick him up with a snowball. But the BKB is going to be wearing thin. Four Force turns around trying to finish off the Elder Ten. They manage to get a scythe onto Puck as well. But Force is dead. He tried to hook him over the side. That was never going to work. They knock him up in the air there with the, the punch. Jackie may need some help here. They almost have another grab from Skim. If they could just get on top of that Ursa, maybe We're they could in. kill him, but instead he's going to be able to maybe kill the Lycan instead. Do manage to get that much. Chasing further. Jackie shard. blocked in by the shard. Beautiful placement by Narman. 30 seconds left. Geekslate can at least get one lane of barracks, it looks like. I don't think they're going to overstay their welcome here. They'll fight around a place where you can abuse those buybacks more. That was a bold TP. That was a bold TP, and it's going to get him caught. He's in the coil with the 25. And the waiting rift looks to be able to push him out. Didn't actually snap him, though. Oh, they got about a second one. All right, there we go. A second coil to be able to ensure the death of Force and an opening for Bleed, perhaps. An opening for them to at least try and force a buyback. Yeah, that actually becomes a, it's the only time that Book of the Trash becomes a, a oh. good item. It shrunk him back down. <laughs> oh, here it comes. They're shooting in the Fire. tiny giant wolf bear. Here it comes. Where'd he go? Blink he forward, where'd he go? <laughs> he blinked backwards, are you kidding me? All right, Jackie's now in, he's going to oh, demolish his the clutch. Holy crap. But he grew back up with BTV, then he shrunk back. What is happening? Narm is trying to get out with his BKB still. It looks like he will manage to make it out. But ultimately, this game kind of comes down to just who jumps who and does Ursa start killing people. Hex on there he goes. Gotta save him. All right. They have a save? Nothing. They've it's got the coil. coil locking him down. They kick away the bear, but it's not good enough. Meanwhile, that 20 talent, 5 talent with the back lines getting demolished. John Well is going to be able to get away. The Stampire couldn't quite finish him off. Let's see if they can force the buyback. Surely they will, but is Geek Slate going to be able to get a successful fight with the use of that buyback? One of these wolves is bigger than the other. 
<laughs> yeah, but it's not the big wolf you gotta worry no. about. It's the little one. Another hex. Oh, they're trying to force his punch by, but he is holding it. Discipline does not care about the racks. And I agree. What the hell do racks mean? Wolf is out. Scythe? I mean, they need a kickback. I think he'll buy back once they get a kickback from uh, the re-wolf. Get a refresher shard. Round two. Might as well put it into use. Killing the toss. Oh, man, he died fast in that little interaction. Now the buyback goes out from Scam. They really no, want to challenge this, though. They want to go for this Ursa. They managed to get the scythe on him now. They silence up with a plunge. He's having a hard time being able to get to eat anything. He goes for the refresh. Dubu's now, in. Play. He got scythe as well. He's just going to go for a dieback. Dubu just commits with the help of everybody else on the side. I believe they die. Forcing now on the run. But lead are running down Geek Slate oh heroes. They have just demolished them. There is no chance, no shot on the side of Geek Slate being able to fight back against this lineup this late. You are not winning the late game man fight here. Even Dubu's taking it to you. Mad attack speed. <laughs> he just runs in. The Golden Elder Titan. Last Here it is. Where's the kick? Man, they're just not getting it. Push the Lotus kick. Nature's profit. Oh, look at that damage coming in from the kisses as well. The back line. Cox being assaulted. Cord's not going to let him get away. Mid four staff. He pushes them back into hell. What is this man fight? It's <laughs> satanic against all these heroes. He's happening. He's actually keeping himself <laughs> alive, but eventually they satanic at the BKB are going to wear thin. Oh, the snowball safe. Maybe trying to pick him up. Okay, now they got him. Maybe with the orb, they can control him up. Another four staff. No way. Don't let Force get away. Now, this is the end of the game. The Giants ring gets him over the sprout and finishes off the Nature's Prophet. Jackie's down. Jackie does fight finally die, but they haven't really gone through buybacks on bleed. They've got all their buybacks ready to go. So that is going to be it. Finally, GG is going to be called.